Hey guys, it's Dave from TheUnlocker.com. Today I'm gonna show you how you can root your Nexus 6P using a toolkit that makes it a lot easier to do. Okay, so before you begin, uh, this will only work on Windows since it requires a toolkit that I'm using that makes everything a lot easier. Uh, and that toolkit is for Windows. Also, this will wipe everything off of your device. So please back up anything you need to, like photos and contacts and all that before you begin. Next, we're gonna head to the developer's site by clicking on here. This is Wugfresh's site. And please donate to him after all of this if this made uh, your life just a little bit easier. Um, but here, we're gonna scroll down and go all the way down to download and click this first one. Again, download, click the primary download and save that to your desktop. Next, we can right click that toolkit and hit run as administrator. Yes, hit install and wait for that to install. Then we can double click that toolkit. Yes, again. So then this, your model type dialog will pop up. And so you're going to go to your phone and go to settings. Scroll all the way down to about phone, tap that and scroll down and you'll your model number is the Nexus 6P, of course, but your build number is that right there. So we're going to select that within this dialog and hit apply. Then we need to set up ADB. So to do that, we're gonna go back to settings again, scroll all the way down to about phone, and then that model number, we're just gonna keep tapping on it until it tells you you are a developer. Hit back, you'll see a developer options tab now. Tap that, then Turn on USB debugging, hit OK. And also while we're in here, turn on OEM unlocking. Put in your pin, hit enable. Then we can plug the device in via the supplied USB. And this dialog should pop up on your phone. Click always allow and click OK. Now if that dialog on your phone doesn't pop up, it means you don't have the right drivers. So uh, click the link below to be taking my how to set up the ADB and ADB drivers and fast food drivers and everything. Uh, I have a quick video tutorial on how to do that. Follow that tutorial and once you're done, you can come back here and then continue. Once that's set up, you'll notice that the dependency downloader dialog comes up uh, saying that we need these two guys. So we're going to download and update all file dependencies and wait for that. Once that's all set, we're gonna click unlock bootloader. Click okay. Keep in mind, this will wipe your device, so back up anything that you need to back up first. And then it's gonna tell us the device needs to be in bootloader mode. Um, if we have USB debugging, it'll just do it for us, so we're just gonna click okay. And it'll tell you to look at the phone, which should say this, uh, and yes, should be highlighted. We're gonna push the power button to select it. If it's not, you can use the volume buttons to choose between yes and no, but then hit power to select and wait for it to finish. Once the device reboots, you're gonna go through your normal setup process. You can just kind of skip through most of these things till we get to our regular home screen. We then have to re-enable ADB debugging because it undid it. So go to settings, scroll all the way down to about phone, continue to tap build number till it says your developer. Back, tap developer options, turn USB debugging back on, click okay. Unplug the device and plug it back in if this doesn't automatically come up. But when it does, we're gonna tap always allow again and hit okay. And back on the computer, we can click OK. And then we're going to click Root. I'm also gonna check custom recovery because it's something that I want. It allows you to flash custom ROMs, etc. Also do full backups. It's just a good thing to have, um, but it's up to you if you don't want it. You just want root access, you can just click Root and do that and check. I want both, so I'm doing this. And then we're gonna click Root, click OK. Then it's gonna give you some steps that you need to do in the Team Win Recovery project on the phone. Essentially, we're going to install something and then we need to install certain things in a specific order. And then when it's done, we're going to reboot the system. So on the phone, we're going to uh, swipe to allow modifications because we need it. Tap install, go to ready to flash, root files, select perm recovery signed, then add more zips, beta super su, then add more zips, then busy box signed and then swipe to confirm flash and wait for it to finish. Once done, it's probably gonna need to wipe the Dalvik cache and then reboot the system. 
back on the phone, we can open the drawer and make sure that we have Super SU. We're gonna tap that. You can choose to follow him. And just make sure that it opens up with no issue and you're all set. There you go, guys. I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, please thumbs up it or share it. It is greatly appreciated. And if you want more videos like this on how to get the most out of your device, please subscribe to the YouTube channel or follow me on any of the social networks at D Kogan or at The Unlocker. And as always, thanks for watching.